From heart-pounding mountain passes with dizzying heights to vertigo-inducing suspension bridges that test our nerves, these treacherous routes challenge even the bravest of travelers. Join me for the ride of your life as we count down 15 of the most terrifying roads and bridges. Number 15. Ishima Ohashi Bridge the Ishima Ohashi Bridge, located in Japan, stretches over the Nakaumi Lake to connect the cities of Matsue and Sekai Minato. From the approach, it's got a dramatic and somewhat terrifying appearance, which has led to it being more commonly known as the Roller Coaster Bridge. It looks this way from certain angles because the Cable State Bridge has an unusually steep incline, which was a design choice that was made to allow ships to pass beneath safely because of the lake's low water level. At its highest point, this bridge reaches 144 feet or 44 meters above the water, and this gives spectacular views of the surrounding landscape. This vantage point has made it a popular spot for photographers and tourists looking to see the region in a way that's impossible from anywhere else. And for the first time you drive over it at least, it makes for a nervy and thrilling experience. Like roller coasters, it is of course completely safe, but it's no surprise that it's become so famous for its ominous design. Despite being the most frightening bridge in the country, it's also become one of the most important, and has significantly improved connections and reduced travel time between Matsue and Sakiminoto. It's a great example of how a novel approach to design can overcome any obstacle, even if it's scary for people who haven't crossed it before. Number 14. Zoji La Pass, India the mountainous regions of India are notorious for their treacherous roads that have to twist and turn along steep edges, but of all of them, the most notorious is the Zojila Pass. It's in the territory of Ladakh and is a high-altitude mountain pass that connects the Kashmir Valley to the region of Ladakh. With an elevation of up to 11,500 feet or over 3,500 meters above sea level, it's undoubtedly one of the most challenging routes in the world. It's also extremely important to the region, as it's the only road link between Ladakh and the rest of India, particularly during the harsh winter months when the alternative routes are blocked due to heavy snow. The road through this pass is rugged and treacherous and is prone to landslides, avalanches, and extreme weather. During the winter months, ice walls line each side of the road. One wrong move can be deadly. It certainly isn't for the faint-hearted, and you need to be a skilled driver and a sturdy vehicle to even think about taking it on. But for travelers and adventurers, there's really nothing quite like it, and it offers a thrilling experience with the opportunity to witness breathtaking landscapes. Because of this popularity, the Indian government has undertaken various projects to improve and widen the road to make it safer and more reliable, with plans in place to build a tunnel that will provide a year-round all-weather road connection, overcoming the challenges posed by the pass's harsh weather. Number 13. Husaini Hanging Bridge, Pakistan Said to be the most dangerous footbridge in the world, the Husaini Hanging Bridge, located in northern Pakistan, it's a precarious suspension bridge that spans the Hunza River, and for a long time it was a vital connection for local communities. Made from wooden planks and ropes, which give it an unnerving, rustic, and makeshift appearance, it swings and sways and is completely subject to the prevailing weather conditions. Add to this the gaps in the planks and the ropes that have worn away, and you could quite easily find yourself falling into the water below, particularly during winter when the entire structure becomes covered in a blanket of snow. It does therefore have limited use, as heavy loads or vehicles can't cross it. But while locals have very few other choices, they've got to use it. It's also become a popular destination for those looking for a thrilling experience and a spectacular view out across the landscape. With the mountains in the distance and the waters of the Hunza River flowing below, it's definitely a memorable place if you're able to overcome the feeling that the bridge is about to collapse beneath your feet. This is one bridge where the apparent risk is very real, and while it's constantly maintained to keep it in as best a shape as possible, it's been known to have been swept away by floods or collapsed beneath snowdrifts a number of times, which means it needs to be completely rebuilt. Number 12. Guolong Tunnel Road, China if you visit the Taihong Mountains in the Henan Province in China, there's a good chance you may find yourself driving along one of the most death-defying roads you'll ever see, called the Guolong Tunnel Road. Before it was built, the village of Guolong was almost completely isolated from the outside world, with only a treacherous and narrow mountain path providing a connection to the rest of China. To overcome this, in the late 1970s, a group of 13 local villagers decided to take matters into their own hands and began carving a tunnel through the mountainside, using only hand tools and explosives. 
Over a period of five years, they worked tirelessly to create a passageway, risking their lives daily to construct this road. But the effort paid off, and in 1977, the Guolong Tunnel Road was finally completed, with a length of around three quarters of a mile, or 1.2 kilometers, and a width of around 16 feet, or about five meters. The narrowness, the twists and turns, and closeness to huge drops over a cliff face mean it's a heart-pounding journey, especially as locals are so confident on it that they'll attempt overtakes, where it barely seems like there's enough room to do so. Though it's worth it for the views, and the tunnel has windows cut into the rock that show the valley in all its glory. Even though it was only built relatively recently, the Chinese government has recognized the efforts of the villagers and declared the tunnel as a cultural heritage site. This has encouraged more visitors to go to the area to experience it for themselves. So, as well as improving their connection to the outside world, the village is now benefiting from the tunnel more than they could have ever expected, with a booming tourist trade too. Number 11. The Royal Gorge Bridge, United States With such vast rivers and huge canyons, the United States of America has plenty of frightening bridges that you may encounter, but the one that tops them all is near Canyon City in Colorado called the Royal Gorge Bridge. It crosses the Royal Gorge, which is a deep canyon that was carved by the Arkansas River and is one of the highest suspension bridges in the world. It was originally built in 1929 and is an impressive 1,260 feet or 384 meters long, hanging up to 955 feet or 291 meters above the rushing waters of the river below. It's the slender design of the bridge that makes it so terrifying, particularly with the way it appears to float above the steep walls, and for this reason it has, for decades, been a popular tourist attraction. It, of course, offers incredible views across the canyon, and it really lets you take in the spectacular natural environment of Colorado. While its main purpose was to provide access to a mining operation and other tourist sites in the area, it's a destination in its own right, with activities like bungee jumping, zip lining, and even a sky coaster ride on offer all of which are designed to take advantage of its incredible height to full effect and get the hearts pumping of even the hardiest of visitors. Number 10. North Yungus Road, Bolivia You may think that anywhere known as the Death Road couldn't be as bad as it sounds and might even be given a name like that to attract curious visitors. But while the North Yungus Road in Bolivia does draw countless tourists from around the world each year, it more than deserves its nickname. Carved into the side of the Andes Mountains above the Yungas Valley, it connects the capital city of La Paz to the town of Coroico. It was originally built in the 1930s, when it became the only direct route between the two. Frighteningly narrow in parts and with sharp curves and no guardrails, things become even worse because of the regular bad weather, such as thick fog and torrential rain, and as a result, the frequent landslides. If for whatever reason you do go over the edge, there's no coming back because there's a drop of a thousand feet or more to the canyon floor, and this is a fate that sadly was not uncommon until an alternative road was built. The lack of proper safety measures and the inherent risk posed by the road have resulted in numerous accidents, leading to a significant number of fatalities. It's estimated that hundreds of people have lost their lives on the death road each year during its peak. And even now, it remains one of the most dangerous on Earth thanks to its new role as a major tourist attraction. Rather than letting you drive alone, though, most visitors join groups of cyclists or bikers to traverse this road with experts. It's still something that requires nerves of steel, though, and for the entire time, you'll need to be prepared for anything. Number 9. Langkawi Sky Bridge, Malaysia with thick jungle, stunning scenery, and incredible biodiversity, Malaysia is one of the most beautiful countries in the world to visit. The island of Langkawi, though, is particularly special. There has been a concerted effort by the government to attract more people to the region while protecting the natural resources. One of the standout parts of this project is the Langkawi Sky Bridge that's equally as terrifying as it is impressive. Stretching across the lush Gunung Matsinkan mountain range, the curved bridge offers visitors panoramic views of the surrounding natural beauty. It was designed by the renowned architectural firm US-based WSP Architects and was completed in 2005. Standing at a height of approximately 2,300 feet or 700 meters above sea level and giving you the sensation of floating above the rainforest covered mountains below. The sky bridge is 410 feet or 125 meters long and is ominously suspended from a single pylon which gives it the unique and distinctive appearance and it's got so little impact on the environment as possible too. 
Furthermore, the curved design allows the bridge to blend seamlessly with the contours of the landscape, providing a harmonious connection between nature and human engineering. To reach the Sky Bridge, visitors can take a cable car ride from the nearby village to the top of the mountain, which is an experience itself that offers stunning views. Once on the Sky Bridge, visitors are rewarded with vistas of the Andaman Sea, neighboring islands, and the lush tropical forest. And the addition of transparent glass panels in certain sections of the bridge enhance the sensation of floating above the canopy and truly tests your nerves for the best views. With all of this, it's no surprise that the Langkawi Sky Bridge has become one of Malaysia's most popular tourist attractions, drawing visitors from everywhere. But if heights aren't your thing, then there's probably no worse place for you to be. Number 8. Skipper's Canyon Road, New Zealand Found close to Queenstown on New Zealand's South Island, Skipper's Canyon Road is a challenging mountain pass that winds its way through the rugged landscapes of the Southern Alps. Known for its dramatic cliffs, narrow tracks, and incredible views, it's another terrifying road that in recent times has become more popular with tourists looking for a thrill than locals who have much easier alternatives. It was originally carved out during the 1860s during the region's gold rush era when miners flocked to the surrounding rivers in search of their fortunes. The road was essential for transporting supplies and equipment to the gold fields, but its construction was a pretty tough task, considering the challenging terrain and treacherous conditions. The tracks were made at first by the horses that the miners rode through the area, but eventually there was sufficient demand for a proper road to be built, with many of the original elements still present today. Quite whether this was ultimately worth it is unclear, as it's anecdotally said that the road and its maintenance because of the soft soil cost more than the total amount of gold that was recovered. While this probably isn't true, it shows just how much of an effort the route was, and even the question of whether cars should be allowed to use it split the community well into the 1900s. It's now first and foremost a tourist route that, along with activities on the rivers like jet boat rides, is one of the must-see sites for people staying in Queenstown. Without any guardrails, you'll be on the edge of your seat the entire way, and things only get more nervy once you reach Skipper's Bridge, which is a huge suspension bridge that spans Skipper Canyon. Moving on to number 7, the Sidu River Bridge, China. With improvements in technology, bridges are now being built across spaces that would have once been seen as impossible. This is particularly true of the Sidu River Bridge in the Hubei province of China, and after opening in 2009, is now the second highest suspension bridge in the world. It crosses the majestic Sidu River Gorge, a deep and narrow chasm that's surrounded by towering mountains, and stretches from one hilltop to another over a distance of 4,000 feet, or about 1,200 meters, and at a height of about 1,627 feet, or 496 meters above the river below. The design and construction of the Sidu River Bridge were, of course, extremely challenging, and because the point it connects to was itself in such a remote place with windy conditions that wouldn't allow for the use of helicopters, engineers had to use a rocket to send the pilot cable across, which was the first time this was ever done. The result after three years and a hundred million dollars, though, was an incredible-looking bridge that gives panoramic views of the gorge and the surroundings. But if you don't have a head for heights, it'll probably be one of the most terrifying places you could ever go. Not only does it span a distance of almost half a kilometer from the ground, but it's surprisingly narrow and has transparent sections for visitors to walk over so they can get that sensation like they're floating in air. When the wind picks up, the bridge can also slightly sway. And while this was factored into its design, it's still an unnerving experience. Still, even with these challenges, the bridge has been a resounding success, as it has significantly shortened the travel distance between the cities of Enshi and Wanzhou in southwestern China. And it's become a destination in its own right because of the scenic views and the intensity of standing on it and looking out over the edge. Number 6. The Stelvio Pass, Italy Probably the most famous mountain road in the world, the Stelvio Pass, which is located in the Italian Alps, is renowned for its hairpin turns, challenging terrain, and stunning landscapes that attracts drivers from all over the globe. At an elevation of over 9,000 feet, or 2,700 meters above sea level, this is the highest paved mountain pass in the Eastern Alps, and is within the Stelvio National Park, which is a protected area that boasts diverse range of wildlife and plant species. The road to the summit of the pass is simply insane, with a total of 48 hairpin turns on the northern side and 36 on the southern side. The winding and narrow road is a test for even the most skilled of drivers, who have to concentrate on the road while being continuously distracted by the awe-inspiring views all along the way. 
The landscape's ever-changing beauty provides a feast for the eyes, and it's a photographer's dream. And if anything, you'll probably want to go on the road twice, once as a driver and once as a passenger, just so you can take in its full majesty. Things take an even crazier turn during the winter when the road is liable to be covered in snow, which takes the adrenaline rush to the next level. Of course, it simply wasn't built for fun, and the series of twists and turns was the most efficient way to build the road up the steep slope, so it could be used by military forces during the First World War, and fortifications from then can still be seen by the roadside today. It's not so strategically important now, though, and its busiest time is during a cycling race where it's one of the most popular stages, and sees cyclists take on the hairpin turns at breakneck speeds. Number 5. Yubain Bridge, Myanmar the Yubain Bridge is a historic teakwood bridge that's located near Mandalay in Myanmar, spanning across the Tong Taman Lake. It's one of the longest and oldest teak bridges in the world, and offers a picturesque vantage point as you cross the water. Built in the mid-19th century, the Yubain Bridge was named after Yubain, who was the local mayor at the time and campaigned for its construction. The bridge stretches for approximately three-quarters of a mile, or 1.2 kilometers, and is supported by more than a thousand sturdy teakwood pillars, which represents the height of engineering prowess at the time. Although by modern standards, it definitely feels less safe than most other bridges you'll have crossed. It is still well worth visiting, though, and it's an incredible sight to see. The bridge's design and construction are a great example of traditional Burmese architecture, and its wooden planks and railings have now been weathered over time, which has created a rustic and authentic charm that adds to the bridge's allure. Its reddish-brown teak wood glows beautifully in the sunlight, casting reflections over the tranquil waters of the lake, especially during sunrise and sunset. This is what made it a favorite spot for travelers, but it remains as it was when it was first built. It's a vital transport route for locals. It allows villagers from nearby settlements to access the markets and temples on the other side of the lake, and has itself also become a gathering place for locals to socialize, fish, and engage in daily activities. During the early mornings and evening hours, the bridge really comes to life with bustling activity as locals and visitors stroll across it, enjoying the tranquil surroundings and the vibrant atmosphere. Number 4. Tizian Test Pass, Morocco Hidden within the high Atlas Mountains in Morocco is an incredible route that's become more famous in recent years, after a number of high-profile travelers have tried it for themselves, and it's both the perfect place to look out across the stunning scenery of the country while rattling your nerves around sharp twists and turns. Called the Tissian Test Pass, or Col du Tika, it reaches an elevation of around 6,800 feet, or about 2,100 meters, and holds the record of being the highest navigable mountain pass in all of North Africa. Its location, though, has been vital to the community for hundreds of years, as it's the shortest connection between Marrakesh in the north of Morocco to Taroudant in the south, and even today it remains just as essential. This becomes clear as you head up towards the pass, because on the way you'll travel through various villages on the mountainsides, many of which are home to the Berber people, who have preserved their ancient ways of life, and who rely on the pass for trade and to get supplies. The anticipation builds as you keep getting higher towards the pass, with stunning views across the snow-capped peaks, rocky ridges, and vast deep gorges, which are just as stunning as they are ominous, because when you cross the pass, you know just how far you could fall. You'll be easily distracted from the dangers once you've reached it, though, because as well as being beautiful and offering incredible views, there's a wealth of history up here, with historical sites such as crumbling kasbahs that offer fascinating glimpses into the region's past, and affirms just how important the road you're traveling along was to trade across the whole country, and particularly between the Sahara Desert and the plains in the north. Number 3. Aiguille du Midi Bridge, French Alps High up in the French Alps, the only way to reach certain places is through a series of cable cars and bridges, and that's where you'll find one of the most awe-inspiring but terrifying bridges in the world, known as the Aiguille du Midi Bridge. It's in the Mont Blanc Massif, and at a height of 12,600 feet or 3,800 meters above sea level, the suspension bridge is part of a cable car system which transports visitors from the town to the mountain summit. The journey begins with a two-stage cable car ascent, with each stage revealing a more dramatic and jaw-dropping vista than the last. And as the cars climb higher, the air becomes crisper, and the landscape transforms into an otherworldly scene of ice and rock. Upon reaching the summit station, travelers step out into a wide terrace with an incredible view across some of the most famous peaks in the French Alps, including Mont Blanc, which is the highest peak in Western Europe. 
The ultimate highlight of this adventure waits just a short walk away, though, which is the Aguidumidi Bridge itself. Stretching 105 feet or 32 meters out from the mountain's sheer cliff face, the bridge seems to defy gravity, providing brave visitors with an unforgettable experience. With a transparent glass floor, you can look straight down the 6,500 foot or 2,000 meter drop below giving the impression that you're floating in the air and surrounded by the majestic peaks and glaciers of the Mont Blanc Massif, as well as unobstructed views of the Bossons Glacier, which stretches down from the mountain slopes. If you make it past the bridge, you'll then reach the viewing platforms via a lift system, and the observatory at the top offers 360-degree views of the surrounding peaks, which makes the climb more than worth it. It's also a getaway for mountaineers, granting access to various challenging ascents and routes that attract climbers from all over. But for those who aren't serious climbers like me, it's as close to the top of the peak of a tall mountain as you're gonna get. Number 2. 99 Bend Road to Heaven, China Known for being the bendiest and possibly the craziest road in the world, Tongtian Avenue is the main route that you take to reach Tianmen Mountain, which is in China's Zhangjiajie National Forest Park. This mountain road is a challenge to even the most experienced drivers, and it's often known as the 99 Bend Road to Heaven because, as you probably guessed already, there's a total of 99 hair-raising bends along it. Scaling the southern face of the mountain, which reaches a height of 4,200 feet or about 1,300 meters above sea level, these aren't small bends, but full hairpin turns that have been carved into the steep mountainside. On a clear day, it gives fantastic views out around the surrounding landscape, where you'll be more than aware of the steep drops along the side of the road. But it's probably more terrifying on a foggy day when you have no clue whatsoever of what's just across the verge. At first, you'll start at the foothills and can either board a bus with an experienced driver to scale the mountain or brave it in your own vehicle instead. Within just a few moments, you'll reach the first hairpin and things keep getting more intense from there. With towering cliffs on one side and perilous drops to the other, the road continues to get steeper and steeper, and you'll inevitably find yourself wondering quite how a road like this was built in the first place. Possibly the most crazy statistic about the road, though, is that in 2016, an Italian race car driver in a Ferrari 458 Italia set the record time for completing the 99 hairpin turns and 7 miles or 11 kilometers in length in just 10 minutes and 31 seconds. Once reaching the top, if your nerves haven't already been shredded, you'll be able to walk across the Glass Skywalk, also known as the Coiled Dragon Cliff. Reaching 197 feet or 60 meters along the cliff face, you'll feel like you're floating on air as you look down to the cavernous drop below. You'll also have the chance to see an incredible natural rock arch that was historically seen as the gateway to heaven. That rather than taking the road can also be accessed by climbing the 999 steps, which is a specific number chosen because it symbolizes eternity in China or by a recently completed cable car, which holds the record as being the longest passenger cableway in high mountains anywhere on Earth. Yeah, I'll take the cable car. Number 1. Marienbrücke, Germany Throughout history, royal families have become notorious for the extravagant gifts that they give to each other. After all, what could you possibly get for someone who has it all? One of the weirdest, though, can be found in the shadow of the fairy tale Neuschwanstein Castle of Ludwig II, which is in Bavaria in Germany. Built in 1845, nearly half a century before the castle, Marienbrücke, which translates to mean Maria Bridge, was put there by King Maximilian II as a gift to his wife, who was a keen hiker, to give her easier access to the surrounding landscape. Originally constructed from wood, it was remade with steel by their son in 1866 and used brand new architectural techniques for the time that involved the use of steel cables and stretchy materials that keep it sturdy at a height of 200 feet or 90 meters above the valley. Now with views out across the world-famous castle, the bridge has unsurprisingly become an extremely popular tourist attraction, but its old design means it can be somewhat of a scary experience for anyone not confident with heights. Along with the castle, you'll see the Bavarian Alps in the distance with snow-capped peaks and lush green valleys, as well as the nearby Alpsee Lake, which at certain times of the day reflect the light and create an incredible vista. In honor of Maria, you'll need to take a hike through the Hohenschwangau Valley to reach the bridge in the first place, and while it's not particularly challenging, it will take an afternoon to get there and back. If you prefer a more leisurely way to visit, like, like me, a shuttle bus or even a horse-drawn carriage can be hired for the journey instead, meaning it's accessible to just about everyone. 
Its popularity means that it can, however, get extremely crowded there, and this has concerned authorities in recent years because of the potential stresses this exerts onto the aging bridge. With fears that it may collapse under the weight, it was closed recently for refurbishment and has now been significantly strengthened. It doesn't now feel like it could fall apart at any moment, but the precarious height and low guardrail have a way of making you feel exposed to the elements. If that's something you can overcome, though, this is undoubtedly one of the most beautiful bridges you will ever cross. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you to our channel members.